We're demolishing these kids already in this early. They surrendered. Are you guys serious? Are these guys serious? What's going on, YouTube? Flutes Poo YT back here with another Heroes Evolved video, and today we will be building Lubu. Now, as you all know, Lubu, he is one of my favorite characters. He is one of my mains, so you all would know that I'm quite good with him. Now, um, when it comes to building Lubu first, uh, we're gonna do just like we did with the um, with Pandora. And I'm sorry about the helicopter in the background if you guys can't hear that. Um, we're gonna go over his abilities and then after that we're gonna go into what the why I build him the way that I do and then we're gonna get right into the gameplay okay so first of first uh, first off is bloody world build physical damage to nearby enemies within a five radius while slowing the music speed for two seconds so that is what blurred blood world is um pretty standard it's it's a good skill but uh that's not what makes Lubu Lubu, as you all know. <laughs> what makes Lubu Lubu is, of course, his freaking three hit stun. Now, let's go ahead and get right into it. Whirling Charge. Charge that a target direction, dealing physical damage to enemies hit by Lubu. Can be triggered up to three times within three seconds, while the last charge stuns the enemy for 1.5 seconds. 1.75 seconds. Okay, so that was, that's what makes Lubu Lubu. His stun is freaking ridiculous when it comes to team fights and everything of that sort. And now, hold on, let me. Nah, nah, never mind. Um, now let's go over the ultimate, Peerless. Deals massive physical damage to a target enemy unit while also dealing bonus damage based on the difference between the affected target strength and Lubu's. So basically he deals uh, a total of 300 damage and then on top of that, the difference between strength. So if say if I have 500 strength and someone else has 200 strength, I'm going to do an extra 300 damage if you guys get what I'm saying. Now let's go ahead and get into his passive. Uh, perversity? I think that's how you say that. Pervert. Ha. <laughs> uh, but anyways, passively grants tearing effect to all abilities and attacks, dealing bonus magical damage based on the target's maximum health. So that's pretty good when it comes to uh, using his skills, especially when it comes to tanks. That's why I can burn through uh, uh, people like Kale, Cow Cow so easily. Um, you can burn through people like. Yun Zhao, or Zhao Yun, however you guys say it, burn through them pretty freaking easily. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into his equipment. This is what we all came for. Bam, boom. Plus, um, little first I give him Guardian Boots, then after that I give him Titan's Heart, Radiant Emperor, Crystal Shield, Exercising Eye, then Steely Strength. So, first off, let's go over uh, Armor Boots. Or guardian boots. Uh, I give him these mainly for the extra armor, especially when it comes to early game, so that he can have that extra durability against uh, against heroes such as Solus, Aiden, heroes like that. Uh, the rain shields, basically. Then after that, I give him Titan's Heart. I mainly give him Titan's Heart for all of the health that it gives him. I think 35 strength. I think that's 350 extra health. I think. I don't know for sure. Plus, it restores 2.5% of max health per second if damage is taken from an enemy hero. This ability is disabled for 3 seconds. For melee heroes, or 5 seconds for ranged heroes. So basically, he regens 2.5 of his maximum health. So that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty damn good. And then, on top of that, due to the fact that he has 35 strength, he's going to be doing... 35 extra damage when it comes to the strength difference, so it'll be that's an extra 35 damage on his ultimate. Now with that, I after that I give him Radiant Emperor. Uh, Lubu, he's one of those type of characters you gotta get up close and personal per se. So Radiant Emperor is a must go. It scorches in it scorches nearby enemies dealing 70 plus one percent of targets max health magical damage per second in a 300 radius. Deals one. 150% damage to troops and jungle creatures. So basically, he deals damage to anybody within three within a 300 radius of him, and it's it, when it stacks up 70 per second, 70 damage per second, 
is a crap ton. I'm just letting you guys know that right now. That's a crap ton of damage. So um, let's go ahead. Let's get into Crystal Shield. I mainly get Crystal Shield for the health and also for the 70% chance to block 80, 80 damage from each incoming attack for melee heroes or 40 for ranged heroes. So basically, uh, it has a 70% chance to block 80 damage, which is freaking ridiculous. That's ridiculous. 80 damage, and then if you stack 80 damage on top of 80, on top of 80, on top of however many times you get attacked by like a ranged hero or something. That's a lot of damage that you're blocking. Sometimes it can even add up to like a thousand if you guys are in like say a team fight or something. Um, unique passive, if your health is lower than 35% by taking magical damage, further magical damage is reduced by 35% for 4 seconds. Auto cooldown is 60 seconds. So basically, um, say if your health goes, say if you're in a team fight or something and your health drops below 35%, you're going to be blocking 35% of reduced magical damage basically and that's a crap ton on top of your uh, iron wall attribute and then it gives you 20 uh, spell resist after that I get exercising eye I get exercising eye for the health and the 35 spell resist and also when it comes to team fights exercising eye is a must get if you are a melee hero just because look at the active immunity times or immunity to activate to become immune to stun slow and trap effects while magical damage taken is reduced by 50 percent when activating when activating last 40 seconds for melee heals and 2.5 seconds for range heal so that is a big freaking difference you guys that can mean the difference between life and death sometimes and it's pretty crazy once i go into team fights i usually activate it as soon as i go into a team fight because i have the mages waste all of their stuns on me and then it's basically useless. Now after that, let's go ahead and get into Steely Strength. I mainly get this for the armor and the dodge. It gives you 30% um, dodge chance and then the dodge cap is 30, 35%. So it's basically it's the majority of the do dodge cap. Um, unique passive, slower your aura. When attack, reduces attacker's movement speed by 50 and attack speed by 30 for 1.5 seconds. So that's pretty crazy. And this Lubu, he's durable against all types of damage. Matt, that goes for spell power, physical power, all of those. He is durable. So let's go ahead and get into the game. I will get back to you guys as soon as I get into a match. Alright, you guys. So we finally found a match. Um... So let's go ahead and get right into it. Um, monkey, 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 monkey. Yes. Monkey. <laughs> the dude's name is Cyber Monkey. Why not go monkey? Of course. Duh. We have a pretty good team right here. We have an ADC, a melee, and two mages. So. Team is looking pretty good right now. They have Murdoch, Yuki, Sun Wukong, Crimson Ranger. Oh, I say Crimson Ranger. <laughs> Minerva and Pandora. And if you all did watch my Pandora video, you guys would all know that Pandora, she is pretty freaking epic. But I'm, I don't really think that I have much to worry about when it comes to her. She has one stun. Um, no, actually two stuns. She stuns with her ultimate too. But I, anyway, goes. I'm still not worried about her, really. Um, I'll just go ahead and get Exercising Guy right off the bat in that case. So, um, basically, we will be jungling a lot this match uh, with this Lubu. You really want to be ahead of everybody when it comes to um, when it comes to skills, armor, gold, things of that sort. You always want to be ahead. Oh, monkey already right there. Let's go. What's up, boy? Monkey ran away. Let's go ahead and take our jungle. Oh, thank goodness they gave me a gold bar. I'll always take that. I will always take a gold bar. Poseidon is already about to die up there. He's really overextended. I'll go help Poseidon after I'm done jungling and stuff. I'm trying to tell Poseidon to fall back. Give me your best shot. But it doesn't look like he wants to fall back, so I guess he wants to die. Oh, never mind. He, his health came back. He used that regen. Oh, 
already right off the bat get my armor boots. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to gank this Minerva. Or I'm going to attempt to gank Minerva. Pull back. Oh, they see me. Attack. Nice, got one kill. An ally has been slain. I'm gonna be able to kill her. Watch out. Move out the enemy tower's ring. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. Up, oh, that's what you get for tower diving. Oh my gosh. I literally dashed in there and I missed my stun. I don't really understand how, but I did. So that's cool. We'll give him that one. It won't happen again though. Uh, my yeah, that won't happen again. Shining's gonna be my next hero with that skin, man. That skin looks too nice. I got a feeling that you can build Poseidon melee, kind of. I got that feeling. Take my steam. Yeah, we're about to we're about to jump this. Come here, Minerva. Can I get one more hit? Thank you. I got a feeling somebody's in their jungle just waiting for me. I was able. Um, it's, it's really risky to stay here after this, but I really can use this gold. Because you guys know when you attack the tower, you can get gold also. Whoa. Okay, let's get up out of there now. I'm going to go ahead and recall so I can get my health and stuff back and go straight to bottom because it looks like they need help, especially against that Murdoch. Let me tell you guys, Murdoch, he's not a joke. <laughs> like, Murdoch has nothing to play with. Dude is, dude is a freaking tank. He's a dwarf, but he's a tank. He's small, but he's a tank. So let's go ahead and come down here, help them out. Two and one, early game, not bad. I'm waiting for Murdoch to throw his hammer. Nice. Nice, got him. Let's go. Now we can get the tower, go straight to mid, because it looks like they're trying to get, um, it looks like they're trying to get Saya, so we're going to try to gank a mid, or I'm going to try to gank Yuki mid. Oh, killer, nice, there we go, let's get it. Tip of the day, always watch your freaking map, when you watch your map, you're a good player. Nice, there we go. Got my first item already out the way. I'm telling you guys, freaking Lugal is one of the best early pushes in the game. Let's go ahead and handle Murdoch. Nice. We're demolishing these kids already in this early. They surrendered. Are you guys serious? Are these guys serious? Wow, yo, that was really ridiculous. Oh, but okay, I guess they surrendered. Uh, I guess that's the end of this video. I really wanted to show off this build, but it didn't look like it didn't really look like they wanted me to. MVP, easy, you guys. What is this? What is this? Ask me later. But uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and look at the stats. Fight. I was in like 87% of the fights. Damage taken, 5,000. Kill damage, 4,000. I guess that's it for this video, guys. I was really hoping I got to show off this build, but yeah, try try this build, use it on Lubu, and um, that's it. I'll make sure I go over glyphs in my one of my next videos. I won't say my next, cause it probably won't be my next, but in one of these videos in the far, not far, <laughs> near future, I'll go over glyphs. And uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And Flu's put, hold on, let me, let me let me do this first, cause I really want to do this. Can I get something good? Okay, cool, Leo. I am cool with that. And I think, I think I can, um, 
Is there anything where I can get some gold? Like, can I get some gold? Can I get some gold, please? Can I get some gold? Get gold? No, nope, can't get gold. But anyways, hope you guys did enjoy the video, and I'll talk to you guys all later. This is YT out. Never it's time to get it Ain't no room for the haters Ain't got time for jealousy I'm too focused on the music The money and where I'm headed If it rain on my parade I'ma get an umbrella <laughs> Fuck all the damn opinions Never really been the one to listen Ain't no one else in the world So my vision Still I want the distance And stay driven Gotta go for it Do or die I can't stop